Hi, hi guys, welcome back to Cruiserman's Inventions. So, today I thought it would be a good day. I got the electric cockroach out, bike out, and uh, it's a lovely bike, by the way. Um, I thought I'd change the sprocket. Now, I found a slightly a slightly um, smaller sprocket, which I thought was good because it needs more <clears throat> low down gearing. So, uh, so, I looked around at this wheel and I found. And I found a smaller sprocket on here, so I got this one off. And as you can see, there's threads inside here. So, um, uh, so what I had to do, guys, is try and take this one off. So, as you know from the last video, it was welded in here. So I got the grinder on it and grinded it back, all nice and straight. And then, then it just wound off. And then uh, I ground up on the inside, and then it just sort of came off, which left me with this washer. So I kind of cleaned that up a little bit more, and now um, what I'm going to do with this is measure where this one was, as opposed to where this one's going to go to, and take the washer down a little bit more so that this can fit into here, and then I'll weld that on, and and then I'll just I'll put this one on on here like that, wind it on, weld it on. Um, so, what is the difference between these? Here we go, there's the difference. So, I don't know, it's only the difference really between one or two teeth, but you can see the diameter distance. Um, I don't know what the difference is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's about a 20 tooth, and this is about a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's about a 14 tooth or something. So this will give this motor the upper hand um, and give it some real massive pulling motion instead of uh, being hard on the batteries. This is actually quite hard on my batteries and um, the motor can't get up to top, top speed because it's actually too high gearing for it. So this one here is going to be really good. It's perfect. Let's put that on again and just have a look at the side. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's going to be a powerhouse with this little one. And then what we'll do, guys, is we'll do another speed run test on it. And um, see, we're running a BMX chain at the moment on this, and um, it actually does an all right job. Uh, as you, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that this bike has actually just been rebuilt. But um, if I had seen the sprocket beforehand, I would have I would have just gone with this one, not this one. So. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm up to. I've also got some repairs coming up on my drift trike, which is Hemi, 10 horsepower, Robin motor on there. And um, yeah, i got some repairs coming up on that. actually found a thrust bearing out of a car and, and stuff. So uh, because my drift trikes are belt driven, well, two of them are. This is one chain driven, but this is Hemi in here. Um, and this is the thrust bearing. And that's what I'm going to try and put on in here instead of my skateboard wheel with the steel ring around it this is like a lever system and uh what it does goes is uh my return spring here and this little wheel comes into the belt and tightens it when i shift the lever forward that lever there forward so yeah little slide motion um so yeah i'm gonna I'm gonna try and fit that in there. If I can't, I'll just I'll just stay with the skateboard wheel. Uh, maybe drop it down a little bit lower so it doesn't have this kinking action in the belt. Yeah, you can see it under there. It's a little bit broken. That's the old one. So yeah, Hemi's. Um, this is a ten horsepower Robin motor, and it is actually a big block Hemi engine. It's four hundred cc's, one gear, and it. Uh, topped out at about 95 k's so yeah that's all sort of chrome that there you see the reflection through there it's just you see actually my hand through there look at that so yeah um yeah lovely bike awesome bike to ride a little bit short for me but um still pretty good so yeah that one's coming up i actually got the new belt it's sitting here for it it's a39 so yeah, I hope that works out.
um, bigger, yeah, better, hopefully. Uh, that's steel as well, so, yeah, guys, so, I thought I'd do a little update video for you guys, and, um, just show you what I'm up to now, and as soon as I finished all of this, guys, I'm gonna put it all in, get the chain back on, shorten it a little bit, and, uh, go for another speed, uh, test run on it, so, yeah, so, 72 volts, 1000 watt controller, um, yeah, 72 volts of power and uh, 24 volts to the center mag. This hasn't got any um, uh, permanent magnets in it. I'd just rather have it electromagnetic because um, I can I can alter my fields better. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Two batteries up here for the center mag, and all the rest of the six down here are under the tray. And um, yeah, so the three out of phase wires just go to the controller and the two brushes to the two brushes positive and negative yeah let's go positive between the switch and uh, straight to the batteries linked in series making 24 very hearty low down power it's got then so yeah cool guys oh massive stuff i'll keep you updated on this build for sure so i'll just quickly do a little walk around of the bike I want to change that white cable out for a black one. I don't like that white one. It's all I could find at the time. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome, guys. Cool, cool, guys. I'll see you in the next vid coming up. Cool, cool. Cruiser man out, guys.